Henry Stephen Salt, the 20th of September 1851 to the 19th of April 1939, was an English writer and campaigner for social reform in the fields of prisons, schools, economic institutions, and the treatment of animals. He was a noted ethical vegetarian, anti-vivisectionist, socialist, and pacifist, and was well known as a literary critic, biographer, classical scholar, and naturalist. It was Salt who first introduced Mohandas Gandhi to the influential works of Henry David Thoreau, and influenced Gandhi's study of vegetarianism. Salt is credited with being the first writer to argue explicitly in favor of animal rights, in his Animals' Rights, considered in relation to social progress, 1894, rather than focusing on improvements to animal welfare. He wrote, if we are ever going to do justice to the lower races, we must get rid of the antiquated notion of a great gulf fixed between them and mankind, and must recognize the common bond of humanity that unites all living beings in one universal brotherhood. <laughs> Early life and career The son of a British Army colonel, Salt was born in Naini Tal in India in 1851, but returned with his family to England in 1852 while still an infant. He studied at Eton College, and graduated from the University of Cambridge in 1875. After Cambridge, Salt returned to Eton as an assistant schoolmaster to teach classics. Four years later, in 1879, he married the scholar Catherine Kate Lee Joynes, the daughter of a fellow master at Eton. He remained at Eton until 1884, when, inspired by classic ideals and disgusted by his fellow master's meat-eating habits and reliance on servants, he and Kate moved to a small cottage at Tilford, Surrey where they grew their own vegetables and lived very simply, sustained by a small pension Salt had built up. Salt engrossed himself in writing and began work on the pioneering humanitarian league. Activism. Writing and influence During his lifetime Salt wrote almost 40 books. His first, A Plea for Vegetarianism 1886, was published by the Vegetarian Society, and in 1890, he produced an acclaimed biography of philosopher Henry David Thoreau, two interests that later led to a friendship with Mahatma Gandhi. He also wrote, in On Cambrian and Cumbrian Hills 1922, about the need for nature conservation to protect the natural beauty of the British countryside from commercial vandalism. His circle of friends included many notable figures from late 19th and early 20th century literary and political life, including writers Algernon Charles Swinburne, John Galsworthy, Thomas Hardy, Rudyard Kipling, Havelock Ellis, Count Leo Tolstoy, William Morris, Peter Kropotkin, Weida, George Bernard Shaw and Robert Cunningham Graham, as well as labor leader James Keir Hardy and Fabian Society co-founders Hubert Bland and Annie Besant. Topic. Humanitarian League SALT formed the Humanitarian League in 1891. Its objectives included the banning of hunting as a sport in this respect it can be regarded as a forerunner of the League Against Cruel Sports. In 1914 the League published a whole volume of essays on killing for sport, the preface was written by George Bernard Shaw. The book formed in summary form the Humanitarian League's arraignment of blood sports. Animal rights Keith Tester writes that, in 1894, Salt created an epistemological break by being the first writer to consider the issue of animal rights explicitly, as opposed to better animal welfare. In Animals' Rights, considered in relation to social progress, Salt wrote that he wanted to set the principle of animals' rights on a consistent and intelligible footing, and to show that this principle underlies the various efforts of humanitarian reformers." Even the leading advocates of animal rights seem to have shrunk from basing their claim on the only argument which can ultimately be held to be a really sufficient one—the assertion that animals, as well as men, though, of course, to a far less extent than men, are possessed of a distinctive individuality, and, therefore, are in justice entitled to live their lives with a due measure of that restricted freedom to which Herbert Spencer alludes. 
He wrote that there is no point in claiming rights for animals if we subordinate their rights to human interests, and he argued against the presumption that a human life necessarily has more value than a non-human one. The notion of the life of an animal having no moral purpose belongs to a class of ideas which cannot possibly be accepted by the advanced humanitarian thought of the present day. It is a purely arbitrary assumption, at variance with our best instincts, at variance with our best science, and absolutely fatal if the subject be clearly thought out to any full realization of animals' rights. If we are ever going to do justice to the lower races, we must get rid of the antiquated notion of a great gulf fixed between them and mankind, and must recognize the common bond of humanity that unites all living beings in one universal brotherhood. Topic. Selected publications A Plea for Vegetarianism 1886. A Shelley Primer 1887. Flesh or Fruit? An Essay on Food Reform 1888. The Life of James Thomson BV. 1889. Life of Henry David Thoreau 1890. Animals' Rights, Considered in Relation to Social Progress 1892. Richard Jefferies, A Study 1894. Selections from Thoreau 1895. Percy Bysshe Shelley, Poet and Pioneer 1896. The Logic of Vegetarianism, Essays and Dialogues 1899. Richard Jefferies, His Life and His Ideas 1905. The Faith of Richard Jefferies 1906. Cambrian and Cumbrian Hills, Pilgrimages to Snowdon and Scaffell 1908. The Humanities of Diet 1914, two excerpts. Seventy Years Among Savages 1921. Call of the Wildflower 1922. The Story of My Cousins 1923. Our Vanishing Wildflowers 1928. Memories of Bygone Eden 1928. The Heart of Socialism 1928. Company I Have Kept 1930. Cum Grano 1931. The Creed of Kinship 1935. Topic. Further reading Hendrick, George. Henry Salt, Humanitarian Reformer and Man of Letters 1977. Hendrick, George and Hendrick, Willine Hendrick, eds. The Saver of Salt, a Henry Salt Anthology. Centaur Press, 1989. ISBN 0-900001-30-5. Jesus. Animals' Rights, Preface Spanish Edition Tuñón, Carlos. The Logic of Vegetarianism, Preface Spanish Edition See also List of animal rights advocates Animal rights Vegetarianism Veganism